now joined on the phone by head coach for the Jefferson Lady Cougars, head coach Desiree Waters. How are you doing today, Coach Waters? Hi, I'm good. How are you guys? We're doing well, and your team off to uh, another regionals, and uh, it's in a rematch for you guys this season against Hedgesville. Uh, obviously, we saw your team win it last year and go on to win states, but what is it going to take this year for your team to uh, beat Hedgesville again and head down once again to Charleston? Um, yeah, we're just going to have to to stay focused um, one one game at a time, not get ahead of ourselves. Um, Hedgesville is a good good hitting team, and um, they hit well against us last year in regionals too. So just um, staying focused on on the task at hand. Coach, I wanted to take you back to the sectional tournament against Washington in that championship uh, round and. Overall, you knew Washington would challenge your team. They did last year. They really have all this year. They were able to get one win against you guys in the tournament. Uh, but a walk-off win for your team on Saturday from Savannah Smith with the home run. Uh, what kind of momentum does that do for your team? And overall, just your thoughts on a great sectional tournament and championship against Washington. Um, it's just it's just exciting for us. Um, it, it's it can, sorry. It's exciting every time um, we we play them and um, to go three really tough games. Um, just just motivates them, kind of gets the fire going and and keeps us level headed and um, kind of staying on track for for the long term goal here. Pitching in the sectional games was Becca Munslow. She continues to be dominant in that circle for your team and really leading you guys all year long. Just talk about her and the rest of your team as a whole. Oh, yeah. Becca, she's an all-star out there. Um, uh, one of our coaches likes to say she has ice in her veins. She's just she's just a gamer. She's a gamer. Um, she's a competitor. Um you know, she she'll have a couple rough days here here and every now and again, but um, she's always able to bounce back. And uh, even on our tough days, on her tough days, uh, the good news is our team is right behind her, um, ready to field. And um, you know, she pitches hard, so uh, if she does miss her spots, uh, the other teams hit it hard. Um, so then we have to be prepared to hit back. Um, and our team has shown um, that they can do a good job of of battling back and scoring runs, um, e even if what's going on the mound isn't going so hot that day. And, Coach, the beginning of the season, we talked to you about the schedule that you that you put in place for your team and, you know, kind of those in-state teams that you're going to see down at some mixers at some other schools in the southern part of the state. And we talked about how that was going to kind of get you ready for the postseason. When you have to play Washington as many times as you have and how good, great they are as a team, and then you combine that with going down, you know, facing teams like Hurricane and, and uh, you know, Spring, or excuse me, Cabell Midland, St. Albans, those teams. How do you think that that has prepared your team for this regional tournament and then hopefully to get back down to states for your team? Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely think it has prepared us um, well, um, getting to see some of these tougher teams, especially tougher teams in state that um, we could potentially see um, down at the state tournament if we make it there. Um, and then obviously preparing us for a tough, tough sectional game. Um, you know, there's a couple sections in the entire state that have top teams in the whole state and only one of them gets to move on past, past sectionals. Um, and that's, Ours included us in Washington are, are what top five or six teams um, in the state, and one of us has to get eliminated. Um, so, uh, anyway, it, it just really um, keeps us on on track again, and just just focus focuses us and prepares us, and um, also also gives us um, a boost of confidence that um, you know we we can go out here and and play competitively against any team. Coach, you mentioned uh, at the beginning of the interview how Hedgesville has a very good hitting team. Uh, so far in your two matchups this year, you've been able to hold them to a combined four runs. Uh, how do you think your pitching's been able to do that this year against a really good lineup in Hedgesville? Um, yeah, we have, a, we have a good pitching staff. Um, I think Becca, Becca's been on the mound both times for us. Um, so... Um, that that certainly helps just her presence out, out there on the mound um but it's our between between um her pitching and our defense and then just the confidence that we have at the plate 
um, it makes it tough for other teams to score, even when we're when we're scoring a lot. So uh, that, that's the goal for us. Coach Waters, thanks for the time, and we'll see you on Tuesday.